Go fast here. There it go. Where's that? Um, uh, there it go. Hey, um, where's that? Get that. I got out of whistle. Let me see that. This cooler is basically filled up now. Here you go. Go ahead, put them in there. All right, now. We got one more. One more. One more. One more. No, man. Oh, man. That cooler filled up, man. Hey, you cleaning them then, right? That's fine with me. Huh? I got number time, baby. Number time. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? This is Dish to the Wow. I got my homeboy, Dave. He getting ready to put it down for y'all how to make these fish and not for a catfish. Go ahead, Dave. Let them know. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you how I make my catfish leader. A lot of people have their different ways of doing it. A lot of people use three-way swivels. Um, they, a lot of people have their own secret ways. And fishing a particular body of water where we are today, I, I've fished like this for years and years. For God knows how long I can recall. Uh, it's been very effective for me. It has worked. And uh, so I'm going to just show you how I make mine and maybe you will have success too along the way. First I start up with a 50 pound test monofilament leader about arm's length apart. What I have is a 100 pound test barrel swivel. And I tie that to my, uh, my leader line and I just tie a simple fisherman's knot. You can uh, go online and look it up. Uh, you can get it in your local tackle stores uh, uh, how to make your knots. Uh, different different ways you can do it. I'll tie this up real quick. I'll cut my excess off. And now what I do is I come down about you know 12 inches or so from the bottom of your barrel swivel and what I do is I make me a tag line and this is going to be my hook line so when it's when it's done it's going to look like this here now what you're doing when you make your tag line you're you're pretty much doubling your line so what you want to do with this is, is come down and make a simple overhand knot or make you a loop and and take your take your tag line and feed through that loop about five times. Five times. Two, three, four, five. five. Alright. Alright, so then you just pull it tight. You have your hook line and this makes it to where you can change your hooks as needed and you just pinch that tag line and feed it through the eye of the hook. What type of side hook do you think that might be? Like a, what, um, a 6 aw 7 aw This is a 8 uh, aw blood bait circle hook. Uh, people have their theories, but they have worked for me. The, you know, the red hooks, fish tend to think that your bait is bleeding pretty much, or it's wounded. Uh, it, it's very effective, it works. You know, catfishing anyway. So there's your hook line. I'm gonna come down and just on your weight I just tie a simple overhand knot so that way if you get hung up on the bottom or what have you you know you can break off your weight. I, I think I'd rather break a weight than to lose my line or lose my hook or a fish or, or anything else. So it's all basically a breakaway.
here, ladies and gentlemen, is my way of catfishing. And this way, your your bait is up in the current line, and your weight is on the bottom, so you're not technically weighting your bait to the bottom. Uh, it, it works in a lot of different scenarios, and uh, I'm going to just go ahead and tie this on to my main rod line. And here, I'm just going to do a simple fisherman's knot again. And like I said, you got to get this off the internet, the fisherman's knot. Go on the internet, you got a lot of knots, different knots you can do, but this is the way what we do for catfishing. And there you are. And right there is, where is it at? Right there. And that's how we, we got it rigged up here.